Hey, the Sound of the Road Haunts, and today I am covering the 2022 Spirit Halloween I have made in Minecraft. So I've made a little parking lot for it since, you know, um, I've made it before, and as you can see, it doesn't really lead to anything. It's just kind of floating. And this video is screen recorded, so hopefully, you know, it won't be too much of a hassle to get it back to the editing software. But as you can see, um, it's not modeled after flagship, as you know, if you've seen last year's video, I'd highly recommend you check this out, that out, because it's, you know, I think it also looks really good, but this year I put a lot of effort into making the themes look as good as I could. So, you know, let us go into the store. And I am back in my, you know, pumpkin skin, although sadly the orange hoodie is gone, so now it's just a gray one but let's go so after that preamble uh here's the store itself now this is the archway spirit dr j reaper monster laboratory made possessed pumpkin really you know big boy i really didn't have to he's he's smaller than you'd think in person um he's probably still seven feet but you know to me he actually didn't look too different from lord raven um, but I know that's probably not true. So as you can see, I added some like mossy brick for the legs just to get them to look a little more green. Um, but you know, I think like this is a fairly good rep representation of him. Next, we have a really dorky Lord Raven, which I just overlaid two armor stands on top of each other, kind of pushed them forward. I actually have a structure void here, and I put a lever. And so it looks really dorky, barely even looks like him, but it, you know, it kind of has a snout. No, I don't know, I think it's kind of silly. We have the little, you know, struts going up to the themes, and I'll get to the walkthrough in a sec. But we have Jack the Reaper up there with two little, you know, Reaper hands. So on this side, we have Grim, and he's nothing much. He's, you know, a skeleton, same design as last year. But we have the... Um, plasma tubes, which I did by taking a black banner, putting a light blue um, line down the middle, then I put a dark blue line over that, and then um, a gray outline, so you know, that's, I think it looks pretty good, it looks a lot like the ones at Flagship, Tr I tried to make the little, like, posts hanging the skulls, so that's, I think that's also kind of cool. Here we have Tombstone Terror. He's not much. Um, there are just some half slabs, and he's just a stair block with a skull over it. But for what he is, it's, you know, pretty fine. We also got the three chains back here, um, leading into the view and the walkthrough, so I think that's kind of cool. Here we have Shorty, just in, you know, golden diamond clothes. And I tried to do a hair looking thing. I did that for quite a lot of the animatronics this year, actually. Um, it's fine looking. Again, we got the same plasma things. I also forgot to mention the chains that are around attaching to the fence post. I think that was also very good detail. So we have the back with Jack the Reaper again. Oh, and I failed to mention on the side there are windows. So that's kind of cool, I think. So over here we have Mr. Punchy. I didn't put the chains, but I did put his banners to try and make the, you know, beach ball base look more colorful. So I think that's a good touch. Again, overlaid armor stands. I just kind of pushed a red, um, you know, concrete there because I think it looks pretty good. We got nothing here, no animatronics, but we got those skeletons behind bars photo op. So, you know, you can just take a picture of yourself right there. Um... The, then, okay, so here is Bog Zombie. I overlaid the armor stand. I couldn't quite get a good, like, you know, Bog Zombie-ish pose, but I think this works fairly well. Now, into the walkthrough we go. Um, we have the water features, which is funny because this looks very different from the water features I put in the back theme. But, you know, it's just some red glass. We've got the triggers. Here we have young Crouchy, just a regular sized Crouchy, you know. Should have put them on half slabs now that I think about it, but it's, it still looks fairly okay. 
Then we have Barry, which is just um, an armor stand with a monster spawner over it. And it looks really impressive in person, but here, the like screen and the ceiling just looks really dorky. But you know, I just put it in anyways. Now, if we go over here, these shelf designs were for from Irish Hunk, so those are pretty cool. I think they look fairly good. This is the Monty side display, which I forgot to film the uh, side display for the 2021 Minecraft Spirit, but, um, you know, I, I think it looks pretty good. He's on his box. It's a little less colorful, but, it, you know. Um, we got the whole circus tent looking thing. And to get a and assemble in both hands. I did this really weird thing where I post another armor stand backwards. And so from a f the front, it looks pretty good, but he has really weird like sticking out legs and other arms. But you know, I think it works for what you have. So I think that's pretty cool. It's not the most accurate to the store. We have a little back area here. Um, just, you know, some cardboard boxes and stuff. We got some masks. And now to the back theme, which is, you know, the testing lab. So here we have nozzles. Um, you know, I gave him some, like, purple pants. That's another thing I experimented with. I tried mixing colors in the cauldrons, which I then put leather um, armor in. So they can look a little less like, you know, singular colors. I don't know. I think it worked out pretty well. I put a like web in his hand just to look like fog. Um, in person, he's actually indented into the ground a little bit. So that's a little odd. We have lucky bottoms here. You know, he's just there with the pulse switches here as well. We got little skelly bones whose design I actually changed. But, you know... He's in this kind of sitting position. No arms, though. Bag of bones. He's just a skeleton in the composter. Now, for the water features of the back theme, I just put prismarine walls. A little lever on top to look like it's, you know, connecting to the wall. Um, so, I think that's kind of cool. We also got the gears. Um, and the screens I did using Skulk, I think it looks fairly okay. Science and Spear Testing Lab. The Mr. Dark design, you know, I think it's fairly fun. For Betty Sharp, uh, to try and get the knife in one hand and the bag in the other, I did the same kind of thing I did for Monty, where it still kind of works, but it, there's like, you know, a lot of sticking out parts to it, but it's it's okay. Here I have the jumping spider, not much, same design I always do. Pull switch again. Tried to do the little, like, lanterns on the, you know, thingies. So I think that's kind of cool. We have Reagan here with the projection behind her. So, you know, for all the humans, I just do Steve heads, whether it looks very goofy or not. Um, but yeah, you know, like a little girl with like a beard and all. Kind of weird, but okay. Um, we got those little things at the top of the, uh, you know, back theme, which is kind of cool. Here we have the spider photo op. Which, in my flagship video, I totally missed while filming. But I did not get it at all. I just took a picture of myself in front of a blank wall. So that's very dorky. Next in here, we have the walkthrough. Where I put the lanterns again with just honey bottles and item frames. Here we have the posters for Miserable Marie and Buzzsaw. Which one is also behind Nozzles, which is his own poster. Um... I even tried to put some, like, tough around the edges to get that really, like, walk-through entrance look. It's not as dark as I'd like it, but whatever. Now we have the green plasma things here. Um, you know, I think that's a good touch. For the doors, I just put a, like, spruce trap door and then diamond block to try and get that screen look again. Um, we have the shaker floor. This looks 3D, but it really just should be 2D, but you can't really do that. Um, of that shelf in the back theme. Then we got the other poster. And up here I put a bunch of just blue bits and bobs uh, to get the live wires look. So, you know, that was my Spirit Halloween 2022 made in Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
like and subscribe if you're new. Tell me what you thought of these in the comments below. I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.